Well, what is up guys my name is Andrew and welcome back to Space Engineers. We're starting the episode coming back from a mining expedition. Hopefully we don't crash into this but uh, apparently the nanites had used up all of our iron. All hundred and whatever K that we got the nanites used it to try and build those blocks that we had. So we're giving them probably triple what we brought back last time. Uh, yeah 339k well it's like two and a half times what we came back with last, last time so it should last uh, quite a while for the nanites. Let's see if I can position this the right way there we go awesome let that thing settle and do its its stuff let's get back to the the hangar so that we can work a little bit on our crane that we had <laughs> oh my god it looks so bad right now the the one that we we're trying to set up so i've encountered or I've, I've identified i'll say i've identified a couple of problems as you could imagine there are a couple uh so this right here is still tilting more than i would like it to uh, so we need some sort of way to make it so that this does not tilt. I've got a couple of ideas, and I think we're going to do one of them um, in a second. This as well, you can see this has some obvious design flaws, uh, namely that it's falling. Uh, and, and I also have a couple of ways that we could potentially fix this one as well. So we're going to do both of them this episode. Um, but first, let me see. First, what I want to do... Hmm. Will I be able to do it? Okay, what I want to see if I can do is I want to see if I can connect this to the base. Because if I can, then the nanites can help. If I put that there and then I put... Ah, I don't think it's going to work. I think it's too high or too low. Too whatever. It's too something. Uh, what if I do like this? If I put it right here. Put you right there. Then bring out a couple blocks like these. This way. Oops. This way. Okay. And like line it up perfectly like that and let's see if i can place one of these right here i don't know that yeah i won't be able to place it. i can place it like that that might work if i place it on the side like that uh well let's go in like that and then come out again one two i don't know why the blocks are blue by the way i think that's because last color i was using was blue uh when i was building that thing right there but you know what it doesn't really matter blue blocks are fine in fact they're even better i like blue blocks okay so if I, I just need to make these, you require a computer, you require steel plates, uh, that's going to be a tough ask. <laughs> it's really not an easy thing to find these days, uh, the steel plates, but, uh, well, let's see if we can find, we'll find some computers easily, right here. So computers, I'll grab 50, and steel plates. Um, why are we not making steel plates? Izzy, are you broken again? My friend. Monemi. Are you broken? You are? <laughs> I guess that, that's the one thing about Izzy, is it likes to break every once in a while. I don't know why. It could be something to do with me. It could be something to do with this script right here. I'm too lazy to go and figure out what that, that issue means. I'm sure I could Google it and find out exactly why it's doing that. I mean, it says the script is too complex. I'm guessing it's trying to do like... You see you see what it does. Is You, you see it counting up while it's running. It's running script steps. So what it seems like it does is it just runs through every step, every little, every function that he's made. It runs through them all one by one, and then it runs back. It goes back to the start. So I'm imagining like if if it has to do something for each of those, then maybe it'll be complex. Because most of the time it doesn't actually have to do anything. Like it doesn't have to start making stuff while transporting materials, while I don't know naming. I, I don't know. It, it seems like there's some sort of problem that we don't know what it is. That that's the gist of it. But uh, Izzy should now start making some steel plates, and I should be able to get some from here. Uh, yep. It's, I'm not going to get that many, but uh, steel. I'm going to run through here and grab some before uh, before the nanites do, because the nanites love to grab steel plates from me. It makes me sad, actually. That's my when I go to therapy, which I don't. But if I did, that's what I that's what it would be for is those nanites stealing that stuff. Okay, stick that right there. Now we have to add some sort of power source here. We're going to give it a battery. Uh, that's just the simplest way to do things. And I'm thinking I'm going to stick the battery just on a side. So like right there. We need 20 power cells. How did I not think of this before? Don't worry. We have power cells. Ba uh, it, it is steel plates is the thing that we are missing. So power cells right here. 20 of them. We can carry 20. That's good. Almost exactly too. Look at our inventory space. Jeez. Okay, so once this thing has power, there's no telling what's going to happen. Well, I guess I could have told you that <laughs> that, that would happen. <laughs> Just nothing. Okay, uh, good job, Nanites. You're doing stuff. And this is actually, I think, the first time that I that I visually see you working on this. So that's cool and stuff. So good job. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to see... If, well, we're going to put a seat on this, actually. 
So let's get a seat. Uh, I don't know if I need a, a, a control station or a passenger seat. I'm thinking I'm just going to... I I'll just go all out for a control station because it's not that hard to build. We'll stick it. Can I not place it anywhere? You just don't place here? You see that? It's, it's just disappearing. What the heck? That's weird. Oh, it's not available for small ships. That's why. Uh, okay. Well, in that case... Uh, we'll go for a passenger seat. I think passenger seats work just as well. You know what? We might as well just do a cockpit. That's, I mean, it's, it's simple. Uh, and we can just stick it on there and it'll work. So cockpit. Or we can do one of the... Well, no, we're not going to do that. That would look pretty weird. But we could have used one of those as well. So the cockpit, we're going to stick that. Oops. Oops. Come on. This one. Let's stick that right there. And we need some displays. Five of them to be exact. Unknown signal was detected. What? We still get unknown signals here? Have I just been not seeing them? You know what? Someone told me that they wanted me to go for the more, go for more unknown signals. So we might want to go for that. I don't know. Do you guys want to see me go for more unknown signals? I figured, like, they're all the same. I don't actually need the bulletproof glass. Okay. So, uh, right. What can we do about this? Well, we can do this. We can do a cheeky little uh, thing right here to give us some leverage. Yeah, that's right. Leverage physics actually do apply in space engineers. You can actually kind of see it. Well, I actually don't see it. Well, maybe not. I mean, I thought. This is what we did for the other one, and it did work, but it doesn't seem to be working this time. Just give it more weight on this side, and it's going to start to pull that up. But I guess, you know, maybe maybe not. What, we're, what we could do, the other option is, well, first, do we have power? Uh, C. We do. Oh! Oh, peek, peek, peek. Oh, that worked. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we just drove a little bit, and it worked. Wow. Okay, well, let's, let's undo all this. Awesome, 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 and awesome. There we go. Last one. Uh, sweet. So it's connected now. The nanites should be able to work on this, which means what I want to do, since it only requires one steel plate per, I kind of want to expand the size of this just in case we accidentally do something and it breaks it. So I want to expand this size just a wee bit. Like to be like that. Yeah, so we're, we're going to we'll, we'll probably go into um, speed mode for this. I don't know. And we'll, we'll paint everything afterwards as well. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, let's, let's go into speed mode and I'll, I'll just put all these there and stuff. All right, here we are. Welcome back, and I've done this. I, I decided not to go with the bottom one because it would make the wheels on this thing a little bit more difficult. But it's about time to start a new design for this thing. And real quick, we need to deconstruct this, but I've taken up all my space by adding. Oh my god, I, I have a bunch of um, I have a bunch of those uh, which uh, in my inventory. The um, steel plates. So I need to find a place to put them really quickly. Uh, you know, I guess we're just gonna stick them. You know what? It's actually kind of close to put. Let's put them inside the Boeing mobile. Why not? Just because it's close. Throw our stick. Uh, throw all, our, all of our steel plates in here. Boeing mobile actually already had steel plates, so that's actually really good to know. All right, let's start deconstructing. This should be fun. This should be very fun. Deconstructing all the hard work from last episode because we've got a new design. We're going to use. No, no, don't let it touch the ground. Ah! Ah, uh, one piece. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Those challenges spring up from, from out of nowhere, man. Just one of one piece randomly decides it's going to start falling. Like, look at that. I, didn't, I, I had no way of knowing that was going to happen. No, it's a fun little challenge that I like to do. Just try not to let anything touch the ground. 
Oh, there's another one. And I think there's a sneak sneak attack coming. Oh, sneak attack! Ah! No! <laughs> oh, there's no way. There's no way. And... There we go. We should have a lot of extra stuff now we can throw inside the Bubba Mobile. Hello, Bubba Mobile. Let's give you pretty much everything we don't need and then give you, or give us full of that stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is extend this rail system uh, because I don't want to have to do it later and then have the chance of everything falling down. So let's extend this. We're going to break this piece. Really? Really? Man, there's steel plates up there. Okay, fine. Let's throw a couple more things in the Bubba Mobile. I guess I don't really need this many steel plates, to be honest. I only need like maybe 400 at most. So let's take those. Please don't drive forward. If you do, then we're SOL. Uh, okay. So you are going to get a small piece. A small, like, piece. Where are they? There they are. Okay. Small piece. And we're just going to continue this kind of this way for a long time. Um, until we're at the end of where we want our crane to be able to go. And I think that's pretty much just going to be at the entrance of the uh, those things over there. The sheds. Let's just keep going this way a little bit. Okay, we're pretty much there. Uh, we could go a little bit farther, because why not? Uh, but we don't want to go all the way to this thing. So let's, let's cut it off right about here. Up and up. There we go. So that's going to be one rail. And we're going to have our second rail, obviously, on the other side. Because it makes sense. Uh, we're going to have to delete this, though. Well, at least part of it. Okay, so you're... Well, actually, you're connected. So you're not going to go anywhere anyway. So I think we're good. Um, destroy this one. And let's start with the rails. By the way, do any of you guys have any crane designs as well? If you do, please send it to me. Uh, or send me a link to the, um, to the Steam. And I'll definitely check it out. Um... Now, when you send links in comments, though, it sometimes blocks you, or not doesn't block you, but it, it kind of marks the comment as spam. So I will go and unmark it as spam if you're sending one of these things. But I do want to see what you guys' designs are, because I know the 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 reason. Oops, <laughs> I went too far. Uh, the reason I had this idea in the first place is because someone else had the idea on the Discord, and they actually went and did a similar design. I think the reason it came about was because when we were building our um, our, our welder factory, someone was like, hey, there's a better there's a better idea for that. So, and then they're like, hey, we, you could build this sort of crane. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Because I don't know if you guys know, well, of course you guys don't know, but my dad works at a, um, at a company that has uh, stuff sort of like this. So they have big cranes that move big metal parts um, because it's too hot to move. So it's kind of cool to see this because I've, I've, I actually used to work at his place for like a month as well um, but it's actually yeah it's really cool to see this um in space engineers because I, I i think you could actually do this in any game but it looks pretty freaking awesome okay let's let's delete some more of this and i already deleted about half of it for the steel plates okay there we go uh now this right here the what i want to do about this and i don't know if we will be able to do it actually because it, i think it's still tilted oddly so I'm not sure. I, what I wanted to do is extend this a little bit uh, so that there's another wheel, a second wheel, if you will. Uh, and I, we could try it. So what, what it would be is essentially kind of like this goes out a little bit. Then how far is this? One, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And there'd be a second wheel here pretty much. It would kind of come this way. But I don't know if we'll be able to actually stick the wheel in. But I guess, you know, wait, hang on. That's wrong. It should be right here. I guess there's no use in not trying, right? So we will give it a go. Come on. There we go. Jeez. <laughs> okay, we're going to give it a go uh, with the wheel. Number nine. And turn it this way. Wheel could not be placed. What about if we flip it around the other way? See about that. Nine. Flip it this way. Wheel could not be placed as well. Which way is it supposed to go anyway? Yeah, it's supposed to be down. So what we could do here, there's an option. There's We have one thing that we could do. And that is something like this. Break that piece and then place the wheel. Number nine. Uh, like that. Except the other way. <laughs> place it the wrong way again. Uh, so number nine again. And flip it. 
like that. So that would be the wheel. And then we would just place some sort of thing that would go here and would, would replace it. Uh, so like one of these maybe for now. And yeah, we can't even place that. But we, we, you know, we would do something. We would do something like this so that w it wouldn't fall. Um, but yeah, so okay, that, that works. Uh, I kind of want to do the same thing on the other side, but I don't want to do it at the same time as we do this one because I'm afraid that if this wheel falls into here, uh, then that wheel over there is going to have to be have to pretty much ramp up to get us out of here. So I don't know. Well, I guess it can't really fall in there as long as that's there, right? So I don't know. Okay, we're going to let the nanites do that, and then we're going to start working on this thing. Well, it's actually gone now because we broke it, but we're going to start working on what was that. So what we're going to start with, again, is going to be a... Um, well, actually, you know, we could start with a base like this. That wouldn't be that bad. And then we can just remove the bottom part once we're done. I actually kind of like that idea. Uh, so what we're going to do with this is the same, pretty much the same exact design. A very, very similar design um, for, or, or similar to what we were doing before. So we're going to go this way. Go this way. Two more, maybe. And that's where we're going to place the wheel right there. So wheel number one and wheel number two coming right up. Number nine. There's, oops, that's way too close. We might, be, might need to move back a couple of them, or a couple levels. So let's go there and see what that looks like. Uh, yeah, we need to move back one more. The way you can tell is because this is the middle block. If it extends anywhere past that middle block, then we can't do it. So we need to extend one more to the right. Okay. There we go, and let's place the wheel of fortune, and it works. Okay, so we need, uh, how many do we need on this side? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we have one, two, three, we need two more, is what we've determined mathematically using the power of geniusness and awesomeness. Okay, here comes number nine, turn it around, and boom. There we go, looking good and awesome. So we're gonna we're gonna enclose these like this. And the reason that our last design did not work, or one of the main reasons that our last design did not work, is because it wasn't stable. It wasn't stable on that way, uh, or, or this way, and it wasn't stable this way, and it wasn't stable that way. It wasn't stable in any way. So we have a design here, and the creator of this design is uh, 1953 Dan. He actually commented last video, and you can actually go and find that. That comment as well it does exist in the archives uh, but he commented with a very good design that we could try out and I, you know what let's put that there because it looks cool um, so essentially it's one two three four wheels on the top same thing on the bottom one two three four wheels on the bottom giving it uh, giving it the um, the sort of uh, lengthwise um, stability and then two wheels on the side was it two four wheels on the side four wheels on the side so four wheels top four wheels bottom two wheels on each side, making four wheels total on the side. So we're going to try it out. We're going to see how cool it is going to be. Um, and hopefully, ah, <laughs> got it. We know one day I'm going to fly too fast into one of those things and kill myself by accident. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. Not, it's not really a moment of truth. We already know wheel could not be placed. Why could wheel not be placed? Wheel should be able to be placed. Because you can you can place there. So how could wheel not be placed? Okay, what about here? Can wheel be placed? Maybe it's this way. No, it's not that way. Oh, okay. So apparently that middle piece right there makes it not work very well. Well, that's good to know. Maybe we should delete these? Maybe we should probably delete that too. <laughs> Dang. That's uh, that's very close, isn't it? Alrighty, so here's our completed top part. Well, it's not completed yet. The nanites still haven't gotten to some of these yet, but it's almost completed. We're going to do kind of the same thing on the bottom, and what we're going to do to connect this is bring it down this way. Uh, we got to get a test wheel out here first, though, so let's get a test wheel on that piece right there to see how it, how it, uh, how it looks. Oops, we got to turn it this way so that it's facing the right way. And let's place it down. All right, how do you look? That actually is perfect. All right. So we're going to destroy it. Just all we wanted to know is the height that we needed to use. 
Uh, so we had one, two, three, four blocks down. So one, two, three, four on this side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side here. Four. And on this side as well. One, two, three, four. And then we're gonna bring it across. Doing the same sort of, ah, no. Ah, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, see what I mean? They just pop up out of nowhere. But uh, okay, let's just continue this. That was almost one. All you gotta do is accidentally place a block like that and it will, it will do that. It'll start falling to the, falling to the ground. And I'll tell you what, the moon is, well, space is easy level. Moon is medium level. The earth is hard level because it goes faster. Okay. There we go. So that is our, I don't know what we want to call this, the box. This is our box right here. Uh, so our box. Energy. Uh, my low. energy's low. I don't really care. I mean, this whole episode we haven't changed energy, so we have at least some time. So we're going to do here. And we're going to do here. And then we're also going to do here. And we're going to do here. Okay. So that looks good. Good stuff so far. Awesome. And finally, we need to do the wheels on the side. Now, how are we going to do the side wheels? I think... How do we want to do this? Um, how did we do it last time? What do we need to do? We need to do kind of like a wheel facing that... No, it needs to be like a wheel down like this. So if I stick it on here, would it work? No, it's not actually big enough. Hmm. I think distance-wise, though, it's pretty perfect, isn't it? Huh. How are we going to figure out where, where where the wheel could go? Oh, what if we use smaller wheels? That's a question. Uh, that's a that's a good point that we could do. So instead of the three by three, we use the one by one. This is going to look weird. Oops. No, we need to flip this around. The wheel could not be placed still. Really? It's a one by one. What do you mean? Um, okay, what if instead then we do this? Let's, uh, let's place a block on the corner. Right there. And then we're going to go in and see if we can place the wheel on that. Since it doesn't have this anymore. There's nothing under it. Uh, so the wheel, right here. Kaboom. Alright, it places the wheel, but it's useless. It's in a useless position, so that's not one we want to use. Uh, and, it, and definitely not at that height. Okay, oops, I broke a piece that we didn't want to break. Gotta be careful there. Let's do... If instead... What if we did this? Can we place a piece there? Of the 3x3 three three, three three variety, not of the other one. That, well, the wheel couldn't be placed, but what if then we take this out? Just, the, just for this side. Alright. Take number six, maybe? Wheel could still not be placed. Why not? What is in the way? And if we bring it the other way? Wheel could still not be placed. I wonder what is in the way this time. Okay, let's do this. There. If we made like a little structure like that, that wouldn't look that bad. Just kind of like that. And then we did something like this. Lots of that's and this is now. This is what happens when I am confused and not knowing what to do. But we grab that one by one suspension. And here we go. Flip it around. Kaboom. I think that might be exactly what we want here. Unless we do something like this. No, no, no. Don't, don't make that. Unless we do something like this. There we go. That's not that bad. You know why? Because we can move that wheel closer. Well, it doesn't go all the way. We could probably still move it all the way clo or very close. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so it's on the interior one, so we can destroy these. Two, one, two. It's on that one right there. So let's do the same thing all around. Can we put this back up now? It looks like we can. Will it run into any problems? Actually, probably no, because we're going to move the wheel all the way in. So it probably will not run into any problems if we do it that way. Okay. Ah! <laughs> all right. Um, we're going to build this again. Build our little square. Then we're going to place our wheel. 
Number nine is going to be placed in the same way. Ah, okay, that's fine. Little, little bit of an awkward placement there, but apparently there's no collision on that that uh, suspension part. That's interesting. Okay, there we go. We're going to do the same thing on the other sides as well, naturally, because it's been working so well so far. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, and cinco, seis, siete, otro. I think is how you pronounce those things. Any Spanish viewers in there? Any Spanish people in the house? I should learn Spanish. Most of the people who live at my apartment complex speak Spanish. Oh my god, we didn't even have to destroy that thing and it'll still place the wheel. Well, the more you know. Alright, this should be the whole design. I think this is pretty much it. Other than the fact that we do need some sort of power source. Uh, we'll probably have something like this coming down. Um... Energy low. My energy is 11. It's kind of critical. But we'll probably have something like this coming down like that. And then something like this coming down as well. Uh, just so that we can place the... Um, energy critical. Uh, just so we can place the thing that's going to grab stuff. But for now, that's looking pretty solid. Uh, let's go grab some energy and we'll be right back ready to get that thing rolling. Alright folks, take your pictures now because it probably won't ever look as good as it does now. Okay, let's get this thing rolling. All we have to do, well the first thing we have to do rather, is we have to go in here and we have to place a control panel. We want a control panel here so that we can tweak some of these things. We need a computer there but it doesn't matter, we can still edit this. Okay, the next thing that we want is we're going to want to actually bring the wheels down. All four of these wheels are going to come down at the same time, approximately to the same place. What we're going to do is we're going to come all the way back here, and someone actually told me about this. I can go into options, go into display, and change. Maybe it's not display. Go into graphics, maybe, and change. Okay, maybe it's not in graphics. Go into game, maybe, and change the UI opacity, which is what we want to do. Uh, so we want the UI to be more opaque. No, wait, that's not right. That's... Is that right? No, that's not right. Hang on. There we go. That's exactly what we want. The background opacity. Uh, we want that to be lowered so that we can see what's happening while we're doing it. So let's bring it to about there so we can kind of see through, but we can also see what we're interacting with. So next, if we go over here, look at that. We can still see our wheels. Now the first four we Oh, gosh. Actually, this is... This is going to be interesting. Um, we need to find all the wheels. Here's all the wheels. But since we're still connected to this, we see every wheel. So how many wheels are there? There are 12 wheels, which means the latest 12 wheels are wheels for this machine. Which means 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 20... Why are there two 21s? 26, 25, 24, 23... All right, there we go. I think we're just about ready to release this uh, from its clutches. Are you guys ready for the moment of truth? It looks beautiful right now, but what will it look like in a second? Here we go. It's time to find out. Boop. Boop. Um, it's not moving. It's not still connected, is it? Oh! That's why. Okay. Well, apparent. Oh, because we connected that. Okay, well, let's unconnect that then. There we go. That's actually smooth as butter. Look at that. That's not bad. Can we move it? It's on wheel. <gasps> oh my god, I feel like a boss. <laughs> this is so cool. It's like the ancient uh, wheelchair. If we had someone like sitting on this. Oh god, are we stuck? Oh, there we go. Oh god. Why? Why Discord overlay? Be right back. Discord, I love you. I really do. But stop turning your overlay on for no reason. I turn it off every single time. And you turn it back on. Hashtag rant. Okay, this thing is built. It looks awesome, and it's going to work. Thank you, 19 something, 1953 Dan, uh, for this design. I think it looks really good, and it's uh, hopefully not going to fall off the tracks like the other one will, uh, or like the other one did, I should say. Uh, next, what we need to do is we need to test, I think, this thing right here. Now, I'm a little bit scared, because when we try and test that thing with this on it, some bad things might happen, but hopefully these wheels keep everything in place. It shouldn't really have any room to go anywhere, except for that room right there, which uh, allow me to fix as we're here. So let's go to the crane trolley bottom and, and just give it a little bit less room here. 
so that we don't run into problems with that. I don't. I feel like I didn't change anything there. Um, here, let's give it a little more. There we go. Uh, see, again, it, it looks like I'm not really changing anything. There we go. That's a change. Might be too much of a change, but whatever. Um, okay, we want to try this out. This is looking good. The wheel is built, which is good. We need to put the wheel at about the same height as that, so we need to find out what that is. Uh, so let's press K. We're going to go to uh, our wheels, which are down here. Wheel suspensions. We're going to go to our latest one, which is... What's 20. 21, rather. And we're going to compare it to... I wish I could see what wheel the other one was. I actually don't know what it is. Um... See, why won't it tell me what this particular wheel is? Like, specifically, what is this wheel? We would have built that wheel. And then we would have built, come and built... No, we could have built that wheel, then the other one, and the other one. This could be the fourth wheel. I bet you that's the fourth wheel. Let's press K. We're going to go to wheels. I bet you that's the fourth one we made. Uh, so, right two. Then we did right... 8, then we did right 10. It's probably 12, if I had to guess. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this uh, height offset, which is negative 32. Oh, it's all the way down. Huh, maybe it's not that one. Let's take number 21 and see what you're at. Oh, no. Actually, that that is probably right. I feel like that didn't change. All right. Oh my god, this episode's going on for so long. Well, let's finish this thing up because we're almost done. Uh, so, I've gone through and it took a really long time. That's probably why this episode's going on for so long. It took a really long time for me to go through and figure out what wheel was which. I had to essentially turn on the steering for every single one of them uh, until uh, until I knew. Like, I'd, I'd steer them to one side and then I'd go and figure out which one I, I had steered. So we have left bottom, left inner, left outer, left top one, left top two, right bottom, right inner, right outer, right top one, because we only have one right top. So what I want to do, and this is why I did this, is I want to make it so that the left top one uh, is is uh, propulsion, the left top two has propulsion, the right top one has propulsion, and that is it. Everything else does not have propulsion or braking. Uh, these ones will actually have braking as well. R RT1 and RT2. Actually, RT1 and LT1 are going to be the ones that have st have uh, propulsion and braking. LT2, I'm not going to give propulsion quite yet. Uh, now, what I want to do is I want to make it so that these are um, the same. So, how what high offset you have? Four, you have 4.8, whereas you have 17. So, let's... I, I want it to be a little higher than lower. So, let's give you guys both uh, a 14. And we'll give you... What do you have right now? The negative 32 jesus christ well let me go see what that looks like on the other side because i know you you've been <laughs> you've been waiting patiently over there um okay that's fine how come you're still a little bit whack i do not understand why you are still a little bit a little bit weird do you see that you see what i'm talking about like this one's lower than this one clearly but th this is definitely the wheels because we've we've gone and found them and we've just shared them to be the same thing. So I think L1 is just going to have to be a uh, like much lower. Nope, not like that. Like this. And then LT2, we might just have to make lower. Uh, okay, let's see how you guys look. Okay, you're looking pretty good. You're still a bit higher. A little trouble there. Let's pick it up at 17. Which I... Again, it baffles me. I don't understand. LT2, okay, we're just going to bring you down just a little bit. A lot, a bit. All right, uh, that's looking relatively even. Maybe even just a wee bit more. It's all good, no worries. Here we go. Five, six, seven. You're rushing. Here we go. All right, that is probably looking too low now. God dang it. Dragging just a hair. <laughs> oh my god this is what we'd be doing all day okay just keep it right there and it'll be fine why are you low now
<laughs> All right, LT2. Bring you back up. Okay, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. All right, let's test it out. Uh, this thing right here, by the way, every time I change those, this the angle of this tilts, and this thing is still doing well. So that's pretty amazing. Um, and we've already determined that it can roll. Well, it could roll. <laughs> so, um, yeah, in fact, I think it's tilted a lot this way for some reason, which is a bit worrying, but especially because you, you guys are now in. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. All right, let's drive this thing. Let's see if we can, how far we can go. Uh, hopefully we can go the whole way. It's not working. Why? Why is it not working? I need L. I, well, first of all, I need all you guys not to be on handbrake. So press P to make sure that they're. <gasps> oh. Can I go into V mode? If I look from the bottom, yeah. Okay, it looks like. Let's let's check to see what we have. What do we have going on here? It's so hard to see. The only problem with our design here is that I mean it looks like these are going to get close to coming off, but they're not. I think because of these wheels. These wheels are stopping them. But still, it's space engineers. I don't know uh, whether that's going to be enough. Now, the other wheel, for some reason, is not. It doesn't seem to be pushing. It doesn't seem to be propulsing. So let's go ahead and press K and see what's happening with that other wheel. Did we set it to propulsion? We did. We also set it to brake. But OK, well, you know what? It seems like it kind of works. It sort of works. Bzzz. Unfortunately, it feel, I, I feel like if we drive this for a long time, it's going to crash. It's going to fall off because for some reason, the left side over there is not uh, giving the same thrust as this side right here is. So I think more tweaks are needed, honestly. I think we need to go over there and figure out what's wrong. Uh, but, but on the bright side, it does look like they can actually drive. So you're driving. You're a bit slow, but I, again, I, I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> so some damages. To be sure. All right, and then the other test is going to be this one. So we'll hop in here. Uh, you don't have a battery yet, do you? I guess we'll stick one on right there. Give you guys some power cells, which we'll have to go and grab from our base. That was base in person who doesn't know how to speak language. Um, <laughs> go back to our base. How, how pretentious does that sound? Let's go to our base. Okay, V, we're going to go into third person, and we're going to see if this baby can drive. Okay, uh, we're going to turn off the steering on... Honestly, I think we should only steer from one wheel. So let's make sure all the steering is off then. There, steering is now off for everything. Uh, and then we're going to only steer from the one of the top wheels. We'll pick number four. Wait, are there only two wheels in here? Let's turn on steering for those two. Are they? <laughs> that would be a weird way to steer. Okay. Uh, in fact, I kind of only want to drive with one of these wheels. Let's turn off propulsion and everything for all the wheels. So steering is off, propulsion is off, braking is off, air shock is off. Uh, let's give number four steering and propulsion and braking. I don't know that it's powerful enough to control everything. All right, here we go. We're back on track. It looks like everything was just a bit stuck there. And it does work. It's just a bit odd. Uh, and, and you do have to kind of steer it. So, <laughs> the, I mean, the idea works. It's just, like I said, it's just a bit odd. It, the way it works is a little bit weird. But we can bring it to and from the, uh, the side. So I can bring it from this side all the way to that side so the idea would be then to drive this main piece not the one that we're in right now but the one we were in the one we're on drive this to the area that you want to be so and then we would get in this one right here and we would drive it over the thing we wanted to get so if, for instance if we wanted to get the bubble mobile we would drive it right over this and then finally we would we would uh we would activate the piece that would grab it so let's let's build the final thing before we end this episode and i'll show you exactly how it works all right, are you guys ready to see this in action? What we're going to attempt to do here to, for the finale of this episode is we are attempting to move this bubble mobile from the blue to the red. I personally don't think it's going to work. I think we're going to get it about maybe an inch this way, and that's going to be it. 
But if you're more optimistic than I am, maybe it'll work. Okay. Are we ready for this? I think we are. The hardest part is going to be getting this thing in position because it's it's a pain to tweak around. But here we go. Let's. Uh, we still got our good view here. Let's uh, bump up the propulsion of the one on the far side because that's the one that's been having trouble. So number RT1 is going to get an increase in propulsion. Then we're going to go forward. Oh, okay. Okay, I like it. We're, gonna, we're doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. Doing pretty well. We still don't have any steering, uh, which is a bit painful. Oh, come on. Come on. We're there. We're going. Okay, here we go. We're back. We're back in motion. Oh, oh, careful. Careful. Let's look around. Let's see. Are we over it yet? We're not quite over it yet. For some reason, that wheel does not want to go. So we're going to have to do some weird... Some weird, uh, weird thing with this. We're gonna have to kind of fidget, like, like, kind of move it somehow. Yeah, for some reason that wheel really doesn't want to go. Okay, how are we looking? How are we looking? Oh, oh god, oh god. The game was freezing there for a second. Are we almost... It's so hard to see, man. Space engineers, cameras, you gotta work on stuff. Okay, I think we're at a point where we can grab it. As long as we can get over it, we can grab it. Oh, and, and we can get over it indeed. So let's... Get in the second one, which is much easier to control. Although I say that now. Okay, okay, okay. Now we got to make sure. Well, we can't can't see anything quite yet, so let's zoom out then. I think we still need to get a little bit further. Okay, we're gonna start lowering the arm. Okay, and we can only do this via K, right? For for now. Um, we're gonna go to. We have four pistons. Dang. We're gonna go to. Uh, well, let's let's actually can. Uh, connect some stuff to our toolbar for a second. Okay, so what we've got down here is we've got a couple of things that will allow us to uh, do the maneuver. What we need to do is get, we need to get a good camera angle first. Please, please give us a good camera angle. That's not bad. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're gonna decrease, actually, hang on, we need one more. We need to go to groups and we need to have, have one that says decrease maximum distance. No, we already have one. Okay, it's number three. So we're gonna do number three. Until we're, well, we're only at one meter now. So what we'll do now is we're going to set it to extend. So it's set to extend. All right. Here we go. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we've extended our max. <laughs> Rip. Hang on. How, how close did we come? One more piston is all we would need. Okay. We're ready again. Extend. Here we go. Okay. Oops. Okay, go down, 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 go down. All right, we're now connected. Oh my god, moment of truth. Here we go. Oh, we need to turn it to retract. I was like, it's not working. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Oh, it's going to come all the way up. Oh, this is going to be interesting. All right, well, here goes nothing. No, it's not it's not on yet. Come back down. What on earth is going on? What the heck? What are you shooting at? What? What just attacked us? <laughs> I, I come back to the sound of guns a blazing. Looks like they missed and actually hit us for a second. I'm thinking that attacked us or something. Wow. Okay. Well, that was actually our first attack this whole time. That is impressive. Okay, one second. We're almost done with this. All right, guys. Third time's the charm. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Whew, I'm ready. Uh, lower it a little bit. And then... There we go. Don't go crazy now. Okay. Down, 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 down. A little more. Okay. That was odd, but I'll take it. Let's, let's go up a little bit. Let's actually go up a little bit. Retract. Retract. Up periscope. Up periscope. Down periscope. Okay, down a little bit. Can I can I grab it? I gotta see what's happening. Unlocked. I'm trying to grab it here. If I go down, maybe I can. Did I grab it? No, we're still unlocked. Why am I having so much trouble grabbing this thing? Jeez. Okay, it says we're locked on something. Oh, we're locked on it. Okay, we've got it. Because it says we're locked. And we're, so you can see it says we're locked on the bottom, and we're also touching it, so it must be that we have it. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> oh my god. Moment of truth, three, two, one. Oh, oh my god. 
Okay, we've got the bubble mobile. <laughs> All right. Oh my god, this is going to be an impossible task. Okay, we need to switch up the um, the power. Top, we're going to give you guys a little bit more power. We're going to give you some strength as well. Okay, okay, be careful. Careful there. All right, move it over. Come on to the red. I can't see where we are. So obviously, you know, we need, we need cameras or something to see um, this if we were operating this. But I think we're pretty much over the red. We're almost there. We're definitely over the red now. Okay, well, give it a little more, give it a little more, give it a little more. Okay, we've got a couple options. We can just drop it altogether, or we can just lower it nicely. Eh, nicely. My voice. This is what happens when you record. This is a, like a almost a two-hour Space Engineers episode, guys. Okay, I think we're going to do a combination. We're going to we're gonna press extract, then we're going to drop it when it's getting close, and then we're going to retract. Are you guys ready for the operation? Three, two, one, here we go. And, oh, it's in the red. That's in the red, guys. <laughs> oh my god, let's go examine. Well, first of all, this thing. Examine for damages. It doesn't look like it's got any from a basic look. I don't see any crazy damages. In, in fact, it's still on the track, although that looks weird. It's still on the track. This as well, still on the track. It's amazing. I didn't think it would work that well. It's very close in the red, too. I mean, obviously, if, if you're... Uh, if you don't like things on the line, it's a little bit tough. But uh, yeah, I think that worked really well. That worked way better than I thought it would. Dang. All right, guys. Well, if you liked that episode, please hit the like button. Put your comments and your suggestions down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers.